Hey guys, it's 2023 and this is my first video for this year, but also it's my first sponsored video. Cable Creation contacted me to present their USB Ethernet adapter and I get immediately interested to see how this adapter will work with different operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS, also Chrome OS. These days, most of laptops and Chrome OS tablets do not come with Ethernet port. So if you need fast and reliable internet or you are in dead wireless zone, you can take advantage of such a simple adapter. This USB 3.0 Ethernet adapter has only two ports, one male USB 3.0, which is backward compatible. That means that it works also with USB 2.0 and USB 1.1 uh, standards, which connects to your device, for example, your laptop. And the female RG45 Ethernet port, which connects via RG45 LAN cable to your wall plug or router. This small adapter can deliver up to one gigabytes per second data transfer speed and it has a black glossy finish. This adapter is not my first adapter from Cable Creation. I already have USB-C hub with seven ports from Cable Creation, which I purchased myself one or two years ago without knowing the brand actually. I get impressed by its quality and how well it works. And then it comes to three main factors, price, port selection, and quality when you're choosing such a adapter. So let me talk about the price. This adapter costs 16.99 US dollars, which you can find on the sale right now for 10.99 on the official website. You can also get it through Amazon. I put all the links into the description. Additionally, you can get also the USB-C Ethernet adapter if that's what you're looking for. For me personally, I have an old MacBook without USB-C port, so USB 3.0 was the only option for me. So here I have my old 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro from early 2013 with USB 3.0 port, no Ethernet port, nor USB-C port. That's not a surprise actually. So you just connect the male USB 3.0 port of the adapter to the female USB port on your device as I show it in this video and the other side of the adapter is connected for sure to the RG45 LAN cable which then is connected to your router or wall plug. So let's just start with Windows. Here I have Windows 10 installed on my MacBook Pro. I haven't installed any drivers and that's the first time I'm plugging this adapter to my laptop. The driver installation is needed for Windows 7 or below and in case you need the drivers, you can find it through the official website which I will showcase it also later in this video how you can download these drivers. I am now connected to the internet using this Ethernet adapter without no need to install any drivers on my Windows 10 laptop. Let's move to Chrome OS. Here I have my HBX211 Chromebook tablet with two USB-C port and this machine has no USB-A port. So the solution here I have is to use the USB-A to USB-C adapter, which then I can connect the USB 3.0 Ethernet adapter to this machine or any machine that has no USB-A port. So let's see if I have internet here. Here also I didn't install any drivers on Chrome OS. So it's just plug and play. And as you guys see here, the internet is working and I'm able to go to the YouTube without no issue. So for the Chrome OS, I didn't also need to install any drivers. I want to show you guys now how you can find the drivers on the official website of the cable creation. Of course, the first thing you need to do is go to the cablecreation.com, then select hub adapter, and then USB 2.0, 3.0 hubs adapters. Then scroll down and select your device. In my case here is the USB 3.0 to Ethernet adapter, one gigabytes per second. That's the item which I am showcasing it on this video. Here then you find all the descriptions that you need for your item that you want to purchase which in my opinion is well described. You find all the features that the item has, all the supported OSs and what is also not supported. The drivers that you might need, you can also find it through this page, which is really important in my opinion for such a small adapter to have a well described web page. If you scroll down, you find the download section where you find the driver link to download the driver for your operating system, as well as the download guide, how to download the right driver and also 
all the steps that you need to proceed to download the driver. So here when I click on the driver link, it opens additional page where I will first choose the software and tools option, then drivers. On the second step, I will choose the USB Ethernet and then the model of my adapter, which is listed here as AX88179. On the last step, I will choose the right operating system and then click on the arrow, which means to download the driver. For my last test, I will switch to macOS on my MacBook Pro, which is running the macOS Catalina. Again, I didn't install any drivers here, so let's see if my MacBook Pro is connected to internet using the Ethernet adapter. I try here to go to official website of Cable Creation and it worked as you guys see. So here in macOS, I also didn't need to install any driver, but again, in case you need it, you can find it through the official website of Cable Creation. As you guys saw in this video, I was able to use this USB 3.0 Ethernet adapter to connect to internet on Windows, macOS, as well as Chrome OS. As I mentioned before, three factors are important when choosing an adapter or hub, the price, quality, as well as port selection. And for simple adapter like this, this Ethernet adapter from Cable Creation offers exactly what you expect. My only complaint, which actually applies to most of these Ethernet adapters, is the size. I believe it should be possible to make these adapters more compact so they don't take that much space on your bag when you're traveling. So that was it for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I'm looking forward to talk about Chrome OS and Pixels and my upcoming videos.